Hi, this is Jacob Jameson, Productivity Consultant with DocuGraphics, your Xerox agency here in Charleston, South Carolina. And what I'm going to show you today is how to set up a regular recurring uh, image overwrite on your uh, hard drive on your Xerox machine. This is a really great feature that's built into the Xerox technology. In the past, you would have had to pay several hundred dollars extra to have the hard drive removed at the end of uh, at the end of your lease whenever you were replacing the machine to have the drive wiped to erase all the sensitive information. With the Xerox technology it's built right in, you can perform it whenever you want or schedule it to happen on a reoccurring basis anytime. Now I'm going to show you how to set that up. First thing you need to do is go to your machine's control panel and the way to do that is to type in the machine's IP address. Okay, ours is already in there. Now if you don't know the IP address, it's really easy to find. Just walk over to your machine and press this button here. Bottom left hand corner machine status. Pressing that button, right about here on top of the screen it'll say IPv4 address. Just write that down, walk it over, plug it into your browser, and off you go. Whoops, went to the wrong machine. We've got a couple here. Want to go to the work center. All right. Now to get this set up, we need to click on our properties tab over here on our control panel. And it's going to prompt us to log in. Our default login is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password will be one, 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 four ones. Hit log in. OK. So to change this here, we need to click on security. And down here close to the bottom, it says image overwrite security. That's what we click on, and we'll have this screen pop up. There's three options. There's an immediate job overwrite, and a scheduled, and then one that you can perform on demand. Immediate job overwrite on this machine, as it is now, is enabled. And we don't normally recommend that unless it's absolutely necessary because the, the overwrite does take some time to perform. So if you have it set up to immediately overwrite after every copy or print, it will slow the machine down a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and disable this immediate job overwrite. Then I have to click apply here. That's easy to miss. All right, once I've saved that, then I want to go ahead and schedule it to happen at a time when uh, nobody's in the office. So we'll click on disk overwrite. And we want to click on scheduled. We're going to go ahead and click on enabled. And anytime you want to set it up is fine. We recommend a time when no one's going to be in the office. So we got this one set up to do weekly, 3 a.m., Saturday night. Hopefully you have better places to be on a Saturday night at 3 a.m. So the standard overwrite takes 20 minutes, the full takes 60, shouldn't matter at 3 o'clock on a Saturday night, so we'll just do the full overwrite. And once again, you must click apply down here in the bottom. Easy to miss this, but if you don't click it, the changes will not be saved. And that's it. If you ever want to change these settings, you can just go back in, change it to monthly, daily even, or just completely disable it and then do on-demand overwrites uh, whenever you want. So I hope this video has helped. Check out our other DocuGraphics tips on our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.